they're after me. Right guys, it's getting a bit out of control with this stuff I keep getting sent. We've got a new scooter here and it's got a seat, which is what I like. Now this looks quite light actually, or well, it feels quite light, should I say. That's what I'm kind of interested in, sort of just lightweight transport. I'll tell you what, they've started to get the packaging of these things down. It's so easy to set these things up. Coffee's ready. Look at that. Ah, oh, that's good. So guys, welcome back to another edition of Andy Has Another, yet another, electric scooter. So yeah, we've got another scooter in the house today, which I'm gonna be testing out from a company called High Boy. So if we look at the spec here, this is a 350 watt scooter, so not like massive power, but um, capacity seven and a half amp hour battery, um, and a 36 volt, so like a 10 cell battery in here. Now I've requested a seat, a seat post um, to actually, you know, ride this because I do like sitting down on these things, but the first thing I've noticed is this steerer tube is really tall. So I don't know how this seat's gonna play out. The seat attachment's pretty genius. I've not seen this before. So basically they've just got a hole there and then you kind of just put this through the hole and then tighten up that um, hex nut there and it kind of, does a friction fit. That's pretty cool, because that means you can easily take it on and off, um, the actual seat attachment. I like that. So you sort of stick it on there and then tighten this up, and presumably that is gonna get this in the right place. So yeah, I've done that pretty tight. Don't think that's gonna go anywhere. I mean, it feels pretty solid. All right, so it's all together. I'm gonna give it a charge in a minute, but I mean, it looks pretty good. I'm actually impressed by this hardware. The saddles have always been a bit of an issue on these scooters. And you know, they've had these weird kind of like um, 90 degree pivoting saddles, all this sort of stuff. And it, it just don't really work. But this is a new design that I've not seen before. And I really like this. It's actually like super solid, super stable. The seat's nice quality as well. It's even got a little reflector at the back. And um, yeah, it just feels solid. but. I mean, the other thing about this scooter is it's just light, which I really like. But yeah, I'm gonna plug it in, charge it up, download the app and um, see what that's all about. But you've got a mechanical brake here as well, which goes to the disc on the back. So that's good, got a disc brake on there. And um, this I'm presuming is your regen braking control. Um, but yeah, look at this, it's pretty smart. It's actually um, almost charged, so, you know, a little bit of charge I'll put in there. And we'll see if it passes the lunchtime test. That's about five mile round trip. So I forgot to mention, this is the High Boy S2, not the S2 Pro. Right, so dive into the app. I've downloaded the app, it's called High Boy um, S2. And you can see here, it's immediately asked for the, which one to connect to, not my Hue lamps. I'm gonna connect to the High Boy. So the default password, it says, is three A's. Connecting the Bluetooth. So it's 75% battery. Um, we've got different statuses. We've got lock, we've got cruise control. Um, if we hit on details, it shows you the information here. You've got voltage, current, input power, control the temperature. That's pretty cool. You know, you've got all the information you need there. Um, and if we go into settings here as well. So we've got cruise control as well. Um, Riding mode, sport mode, sport speed limit, 31 kilometers, lighting control, hey. So this is cool, look at that. Good way to draw attention to yourself. That turns all of the lights on and off. As usual, the lights on these things are pretty bright, so that's always good. I'm sure you'll probably be able to do that from the actual scooter itself, I would have thought. We can change our speed to units to miles per hour. Boot mode, see I want to have it on zero start because then you haven't got to be rolling. Um, what's in advanced settings? Accelerator response, so you have got a bit of controller um, kind of configuration you can do here as well. Looks pretty neat guys, I'm not going to lie. It looks pretty advanced. Um, so there's not really much else here. We've got obviously firmware upgrade, don't want to do that at this point. But that's locked it. So that's pretty pretty good. I mean, it's so light, someone could just run off with it anyway. Anyway, let's um, get it on charge and take it for a spin. It's on charge at the moment. So this charge don't look bad. It's quite nice. Um, I mean, I always kind of comment on the charges because you can tell quality of a charger. If you get something horrible and it feels really loose and rattly, 
that's not inspiring confidence, but this is good. So yeah, it's a 1.5 amp charger, so it's not particularly quick. Um, it is charging right now. When you plug it in, the scooter turns off. I'm wondering if the app will still work. We'll try that out and see, because it's sometimes nice to have an app to show um, you know, what state of charge the actual scooter is to give you an idea you know, whether you can get going or not. I just checked and it doesn't, so never mind. Also, just looking at the bottom of the scooter, look, it's two suspension springs there, so it has got suspension. Look, there's the, there's the arm. These sort of tires here with these kind of like holes in do give you a bit of a, bit of support. But it'll be interesting to see how it handles the bumpy cycle paths around here. Front wheel drive motor as well. Right, so here's the first thing. If you're gonna be having to go up and down stairs, then something lightweight is actually really, really blooming good. So we should have our... Okay, I had to go and redo that in the app, but now it's working. I'll tell you what, it's got some torque. Again, these things really surprised me. For just 350 watts, it's pretty amazing. I keep forgetting this is front wheel drive as well. So you get a bit of wheel spinach at the front, look. <laughs> Crikey, this weather it's starting to look a bit grim now. I'm enjoying this though, the ride is nice. Again, I'm surprised actually, because it hasn't got, you know, massive amount of suspension travel. It's actually pretty comfortable. And this seating position isn't terrible either. This brake lever does the mechanical brake, obviously, but it also does regen as well. So you can kind of, if you want to stop sharp, you can yank that. But if you want to save your brake pads, you can just use that because obviously it's just, um, it's using sort of engine brake or motor braking. So it's got a little cruise control feature, which if you sort of hold this for a period of time in a certain place, it will actually just hold that throttle. That's pretty nice. I'm liking it so far. That's a pretty comfortable ride. They're after me. Right, let's see how it does on the other side of this uh, sort of subway thing, because it's kind of a hill, you know, because 350 watts is not a huge amount of power. I'll tell you what, considering the size of the wheels as well, it does actually handle it pretty well. So, right, full throttle. I mean, you know, that's impressive. This is more than 350 watts. It's got to be. So it's got us to the destination. I don't even see this because it's playing havoc with the uh, camera. One bar of battery's gone. And the thing about this, if you're going to wheel it through like a pedestrian area or something like that, then it's actually like, it's just not a pain in the ass because it's quite light to push around. Right, so there's a couple of little tests that I do with scooters just to see, you know, how much power they've got. One of them is this one. So basically this little hill up here. Most of the scooters can get up it, no problem at all. Um, I have had a low power one that hasn't managed it, but it's not particularly steep, it's not particularly long. I haven't done myself any favours here because I went on the grass slope slightly. Oh, it will do it. It's going to do it. Hey. Doing pretty well guys, on two bars, I'm nearly back. So yeah, all back, only took out two bars. To be honest, it wasn't even fully charged either. Sometimes they'll drop a bar, maybe if you're going uphill because you're kind of loading the battery. But to be honest, this battery I found in this one, it doesn't drop that much when you're going uphill. So, you know, that's a good sign. The battery voltage is sort of stable as you're going uphill. So overall, I'm really impressed with this little vehicle. It's done the job, there and back to the town is about five miles as I say just done the little round robin trip that I normally do um, it's comfortable like it's smooth it pops up curves and stuff it's super light as well it's, and I keep saying it but that is a big thing right if you're gonna have to you know lug it around up and down stairs or like you know chuck it in the back of the car and stuff um, it's a great little vehicle I'll be using it for you know just little runs to the shop and stuff like that where I can you know get away with it around here I will say Everybody's riding scooters, so this may be an area that has kind of, you know, I shouldn't say this, but maybe it's just slipped the net a bit, or maybe, you know, because it's got lots of cycle paths, they're not too bothered. Or maybe there's just such a high level of crime, and they're just more concerned about that rather than scooters. Anyway, guys, I definitely recommend this little scooter. It's worth having with the seat as well, just to give you that extra bit of sort of comfortability. If you can't be bothered to stand up, that's like me. And it kind of makes it look a little bit more like a bike as well, so you might be able to get away with it a bit better. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. 
I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.